Welcome to the MyPart tutorial on setting layers. In this tutorial we will demonstrate the procedure for setting layers in a recipe as well as discuss the power and benefits behind this tool. So we'll begin in the image processor and we will start by loading in an example image which contains three different feature types of interest. And this is where layers are most typically used. When you have not just features and background that needs um, segmented, but multiple feature types. In this case, we have a core shell structure where we are interested in discriminating between the interior, the shell, and the background. So I will begin by loading in a recipe that already has layers set, just so that you can see the end result. And as you're aware in MyPAR, we rely on a recipe which is a linear flow of operations. Every step can either be a grayscale output or a black and white output. Black and white outputs are referred to as selection images where what is black in that image is what's selected and they can of course be viewed in multiple modes. So this lends itself very nicely to binary segmentation where you have features and everything else but when you have multiple feature types you can simply take multiple binary steps, black and white steps in MyPAR and set them as layers which tell MyPAR that at that particular step whatever is selected we want to call this, whatever is selected at the next step we want to call something else and then those layers can be overlaid together, they can be given names, they can be given colors, they can be turned on and off and then there are other quantification benefits that follow. So because we have layers set in this recipe, uh, first of all the layered steps have a star next to them and they have a name in all caps and that then opens up layers view mode. So typically you have these four viewing modes available to black and white steps or two viewing modes available to grayscale steps. When layers are set you have a third option called layers that from wherever you are in the recipe whatever step you're looking at lets you switch into a mode that simply shows you all of the layers that have been set. It grays out all steps that aren't layers and color codes the layered steps according to how they're colored in the image. So how did we set these layers? Well, what I can do is just unset them all. These controls up here allow you to set, remove, and edit layers. And all we did, once we had built up this recipe, which does various things to get at the different feature types, at this point in the recipe we had settled in on selecting the background, then we went back to the grayscale and we did some other operations until we eventually settled in on the interior of the, uh, the core of the features. And again we went, then went back to previous steps and did some arithmetic operations to only keep the shells. So once you are finished or you can set layers along the way you simply click on a step that you want to call a layer in this case we know 13 is is one of them you can click it or double click it, it as long as it's selected setting the layer will or the set layer button will apply to this step and we can simply hit set layer and I can give it a name and a different color than the default if you wish. And now that step is set as a layer, it's given a color, it's given a name, and you're automatically put into layers mode. Without a layer in place, there is no layers mode once you set your first layer or subsequent layers if you're uh, if you have moved out of layers mode and then you set subsequent layers, you'll be put back into layers mode just to get an immediate view of, of what happened by the setting of that layer. So we set the layer, we're put into layers mode, and now we can go down to step 26 that we know uh, is the core selection. And we'll call this cores. And lastly, we want to set the shells.
and that's it. You certainly don't have to double click between each step. Um, it's rather quick to set layers once you know the step numbers. For example, let's just unset all of these. And if we're not concerned about colors, we can just click all of these here. Say this one is now cores. This one is shells. And now we have layer set. You can show hide layers with this control in layers mode. In, in non-layers mode, this control is a disable from here down in the recipe. Disable the, the recipe steps from here down. In layers mode, this control is a show hide where you can toggle the layer on and off. And then of course, whatever you, when you, if you were to save the image, you would save whatever is in this view. So you can save the layers view with whatever show, hide, settings, and opacity you wish. So on a visualization level, it's very useful to set layers. It lets you quickly colorize your segmentation. It indicates what steps are really important in your recipe and gives them names and colors them and grays and everything else. It, it really simplifies down a lengthy recipe into its uh, intended result. On a measurement front, when you are in layers mode, any global measurements that you run get performed on each layer all at once. Recall that if we were just looking at, uh, let's say, a particular step and we ran area fraction, we would just measure the area fraction of the step that we're looking at. You can also double click a played measurement already down here. But again, when we're in layers view, that measurement gets performed on all layers. To adjust the order of layers, let's say you wanted, for some reason, uh, the red layer to be in front of everything else. Sometimes layers aren't mutually exclusive, they overlap one another, and you might care about which one is placed in front of the other. Uh, Right-clicking in the recipe box or going up to view will give you access to the layer manager which can be a nice way to set layers to begin with if you wanted to start setting layers in this environment you're certainly welcome to do so picking any step in here shows you that uh, particular step of the recipe and it's as simple as clicking add to add a step as a layer and then you set its name and color down here show hide controls are up here uh, but this, even if whether you set layers in here or not, this is the environment where you can switch the order. So if I wanted the uh, shells to be on the bottom, this order is in the order in which you set the layers. So background is in the back, cores are in the middle, shells are at the very front. To put the shells at the very back of the stack, you can take this step and move it all the way to the top. Since these layers are actually mutually exclusive, you won't see any differences in overlap, but if the red overlapped the blue, now the red would be in front of the blue in the transparent overlay. And that is how you switch layer order. Once your order is set, hit save layers and close, and that is that. Um, on the batch processing front, I'll mention that layers that are set tell the recipe what images to save from a batch process. So if you were to run this recipe as a batch, you would save the binary versions of every step that is set as a layer for every image that was processed. And then uh, if you take a look at the uh, running a 2D batch and the reviewing a 2D batch tutorials, you'll see that you can then directly open all of your batch process results with a single click from the batch processor into the processed image editor and all of the black and white outputs uh, along with their uh, reference images will be brought in and viewed, overlaid, outlined however you wish uh, in the processed image editor. And of course it takes care of uh, all the layering and naming for you. So any step that is set as a layer gets saved from the batch process and they all can then get automatically assembled into batch review uh, visualizations in the processed image editor. Similarly, 
any measurements that you have set would be performed on each layer when you run a batch process. So the, the layers really inform my PAR, what defines our features in this recipe, and my PAR then acts accordingly. So do feel free to check out the reviewing a batch and running a batch tutorials. Uh, that is it for the layers tutorial. Um, I hope you've seen what a versatile and uh, user-friendly tool layers can be, and hopefully you find it uh, very helpful to your work. So as always, feel free to contact us with custom recipe, custom tutorial, or one-on-one -on -one training session requests. And thanks very much for your attention. We will see you next time.